Hello there guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing well today. Today I'm going to be responding to your guys' survey responses. Not all of them, there's a couple too many to do that. But I'm going to be touching on what I think everybody wants to have answered. I hope, and if I miss anything, go ahead and comment. I'll respond to any of your guys' questions down below. Um, so do check the comments if you have other questions. Maybe someone else asked it and I already responded. Cool, let's get right into it. So. First off, mastery form grinding. I, I know pretty much like half the responses, if not more, everyone's least favorite thing or lowest ranking response was the forms take too long to grind, the forms are too boring to grind, the forms are this, this, and that. I feel that. I get where you guys are coming from completely. And um, we will be making steps to address this in upcoming updates. I can't give you guys direct info on what we will do, but know that we, we understand where you guys are coming from. We're going to be talking to our team, uh, our testers that play all play the server, and we're, just, we're going to be figuring out what is a good compromise for us to make because the grind being difficult is part of our Dragon Block Apollo. However, the grind being unbearably difficult is not. You know, We want you guys to be able to play and progress and have fun. We don't want you guys to be stuck grinding Super Saiyan for um you know 10 hours just to get it to level five or six um so again can't give you guys exact details just know it it won't be a simple like oh every um item gives 50 percent more xp or all the drop rates are increased personally that is far too simple for me i would prefer to do something across the board maybe uh you know rescale challengers rescale enemies this this and that you know what i mean come at it from multiple angles because if we just do one rescale of item drops from challengers, it's far too simple because, you know, just adding an extra 5 to 10%, you guys might not even notice it. If we just increase all the drop rates by 10%, you probably wouldn't even notice it. I'm going to be honest. So just know that we will do something to improve it in future updates. It's going to take a while. Um, I won't give you guys detail on when that's happening or what's happening. But yeah, that's all the info you guys will get on that. Um, story progression. This goes hand in hand with uh, grinding for mastery being too long and tedious. Um, Sand Saga to Namek Saga progression is pretty pretty good. Um, but once you hit Android Saga, it starts clogging up. Android Saga is alright because it's been improved heavily. Thanks. We all remember pre 1.2 it was bad. Um, but Cell Saga and Forward all the way to Super is just super like. Uh, um, uh, it's very, how do you say, like the jumps, you have a jump where the enemy goes up, um, say 5,000 levels, but then the qu two quests before that only went up 1,000, and it's like, sure, you're fighting, this is an example, I'm not, this is not a specific instance, but sure, I'm fighting an enemy that makes sense to be 5,000 levels stronger, but every enemy in Dragon Ball logically has exponential jump in strength. So, you know, if we kept that trend, the server's going to be unplayable because every enemy would jump by 20% each time. Anyway, uh, solution to that would be, you know, enemy, the two enemies before would jump by 2.5k or one, one point. You know what I mean? Basically, uh, smooth the gaps out. Smooth the walls. Because I'm 100% in agreement with all your guys' complaints that sometimes you'll be farming and it's really annoying, like... To have to grind some hundred hours just to pass one I mean that's an over exaggeration, but having to grind ten hours just to beat one of the seventy two quests in the Z saga just that doesn't make sense to me. We're not expecting you guys to have seven hundred and twenty hours. Obviously that's whatever. You know, we don't expect the server Z saga to take a hundred or sorry, two hundred hours. It probably would be a hundred. Um anyway, just know that again with mastery we will be doing, uh, taking uh, actions to make the grind for a uh, story a lot better and just smoother for you guys. Because, uh, you know, we don't want the server to be a painstaking thing where you have to, you know, we want it to be, a lot of you guys, you guys had a lot of good server responses, by the way, and I appreciate all your guys' kind words. Um, a lot of you guys were you know, giving us our props and this, this, and that, and I very, 
very much appreciate that and thank you guys all i'm glad you guys all love the server me and the team work very very hard on it to make it what it is and you know we're, cause we're still working this survey the, the whole point of this sir i know i'm getting off topic i'll get back to it the the point of this survey is to, to talk to you guys and get your guys's opinions directly you know what i mean because sometimes if, if i don't do surveys when you guys tell me that something's wrong with the server like ah oh, mastery grinding is too hard i'll be like Dude, you just, you know, quote unquote, you just suck or get better. I, I don't say that. Well, I'll say something like that. But my point is, like, for me, if I don't do a survey response and see 100 people telling me mastery is too hard, then, you know, for all I know, it's an outlier. Just one person telling me that. And I appreciate all you guys coming to take this survey. And we will continue to do surveys every update from now on. I mean, we did it for 1.2. We're going to do it for. I mean, you know, we did it for this update, 1.2.3, yikes. And we're doing it for the next updates. And, yeah, I'm very thankful to have the community that we have. This is a whole other topic for another day, I guess. Um, I'm, I've always been thankful. You guys are amazing. You guys are a great community, you know. Uh, <laughs> as much as I get stressed out by you guys, you know, you guys are great. And I'm, I'm happy you guys can make this server what it is. You know, you guys are what makes this server what it is the community is one of the most important parts of this server you know more so than the development visuals anything you know the can without the community without you guys being there for the updates our updates would just be you know a waste of time for us but since you guys are going to receive the updates and and love them and you know give us criticism this this and that and i appreciate the criticism we're, we're about halfway through i touched on my second topic of story progression again story progression will be better mastery will be better is the simple take here right i see you guys don't like our mastery form grinding okay we'll, we'll make it better i understand now that pretty much everyone's in agreement that mastery form grinding could be a little bit easier you know across the board i got you story progression um not even that it needs to be easier more so that like it will be progressing a certain like trend line of difficulty and then it will just spike and then continue and it's like okay so what if the trend line just had a different angle for, you know this is i don't know if anyone gets this but it just have the trend line be sharper in the first place instead of having it jet jot up and break a trend line you know i don't know if that makes sense you know i'm just saying words really anyway kyle ken sucks right not not really that's that's just what i've heard um kyle ken in my opinion great re rework a little bias there um you know we put a lot of work into making Kyle Ken's HP drain make sense. Uh, and the leveling, the cooldown, the drain, all of these things. And uh, I understand where you guys are coming from when you say um, Kyle Ken doesn't seem like it's worth leveling. I got you. Uh, Kyle Ken's HP drain is a little too high. I don't really feel that one as much, but that's something I heard a lot. So we're, we're willing to look at it. Uh, so the simple answer here is how can we get some adjustments to make it a little bit better? Um, so again, I'm not giving details or dates on it. when any of this is happening. Know that there's not going to be a patch coming soon. I'm going to get that out there now. There's no patch 1.2.5. Yeah, no, no patch 1.2.5. 1.2.4 is the current version number, and it will stay that way until our next update. Um, so yeah. There will be no patches coming to fix all these things. These things are far too big for a patch. Like, the story changes is an entire thing that our team will have to do over a month. The mastery form grinding is smaller, but also a large-scale project. And rescaling Kyle Ken could happen in a patch, but it's not going to, frankly. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I feel like the you guys told us you guys didn't like the quest unlocks you felt like uh, you you were getting times 20 too late or times 10 sorry since times 20 is all forms max or all techniques kyle ken max one to five yeah we're gonna lower the quest unlocks this is one thing i'll give you guys actual info on again this isn't happening for a while so don't don't not grind kyle ken or whatever because i can tell you one thing the xp for kyle ken is probably going to be the only thing we don't touch the leveling will be a little bit better for Kyle Ken, so your guys' Kyle Ken will just be better if you've already leveled it. No need to not level. Don't do anything like that. No preemptive, preventive measures. Just play as normal. 
Um, how can HP drain? We'll be get, getting a look at. It's not necessarily going to go down or up. We're just going to look at it and make sure that it makes sense, you know, on another fresh set of eyes look. You know, we, we were doing it all during 1.2.3 development and A's dies, you know. Uh, but yeah, the leveling rewards can be a little better, you know. Lower cooldowns, lower drains for leveling it. Because to get times 20, you need stage 1 to 5 at level 4. And I understand that, that might be a little uh, disincentivizing because, frankly, why would you even use 1 to 5 when, you know, times 20? But you have to to get times 20. I understand that could be a little weird. Um, we're not going to change the, the way you get times 20. Because honestly, times 20 is just a complete flex. It's If anyone's used it, it's super draining. I would just use times 10. Uh, personally, you know, use times 10 on your Super Saiyan and stuff. Also, another thing I'd like to touch on, the multiplier for Kaioken. Uh, people are saying, telling me their Kaioken was stronger before this, this, and that. Uh, frankly, Kao Ken having a key drain in the base form is 100% reasonable. And I, I don't get why anyone would think that Kao Ken shouldn't have a key drain in base form. Because otherwise, like, I don't know, it just kind of makes it, like, what, you just don't need spirit? And I guess there's an argument to be made that, like, oh, it's different than forms, but you get Kao Ken right before you get Super Saiyan anyway, so, like, not right before, quite a while before, but anyway, the prelude to your first form. It having key drain just prepares you for the form. But yeah, we're going to lower the key drain because, uh, yeah, maybe it's a bit too high. I agree. Anyway, the multiplier, all, all of the multipliers are equal, if not higher. Okay? You know, times 20 is different than old times 20. Yeah, but once you get past that notion, you're, you're fine. Like, times 3 out... Class is like times 20, I think. It, at the same, like, assuming you had like level, f you know, whatever. Same level as Super Saiyan, of course. But yeah, for the most part, Kyle Ken is way stronger on forms and in base form by a long shot. Anyway, uh, probably wrap this up after this fourth topic. Jeez, that one was long. I had to rant. Performance? Performance sucks, yes? I think we all agree. Performance is not good. Uh, like, you have it run fine, but then it will be a huge down step of performance. And, like, it doesn't balance out. You know, it balances out to, like, a 6. I would give our performance a 6 out of 10. You know, I'm biased because I know every performance measure I've taken to try and make it better. So I'm going to rate it higher, maybe a 6, 7, maybe even an 8 on a good day. Anyway, I don't play, so I don't, you know, I don't feel the lag on the testing server there is no lag so everything seems peachy for me but obviously you guys tell me it lags it lags okay i hear people talking about lag every day in the server chat yeah i got you it lags anyway there will be a ton of measures coming in place for next update to make lag more bearable for you guys because i understand yeah it's pretty bad um and trust me when I tell you, I'm doing more than I've ever done for performance. You know, every update I try to say, like, ah, you know, I'm doing so much for performance. This update, I'm actually doing a lot. Like, steps have already taken. Have already proven themselves to be far better. And at this time, I don't want to get into that. You know, I don't want to talk about that. But there'll be, I'll make, I'll make videos. Yeah, blogs or whatever. Um... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you guys got to the end of the video, thank you uh, for listening to me for 14 minutes. Um, you guys are a great community. I love you guys. Um, I want, if, anyway, if you guys are here, I want your opinion on something. Should we do like videos covering the old change logs? Because in trying to think of what I can upload to the YouTube channel, I, I think like... What if I just go look at the 1.1 change log and read it to you guys and give you guys some of my input? Like, because I'm the one who wrote the change log and did the development, so why don't I tell you, hey, this, this, and that, this was going to happen there, but we ended up not doing it. You know what I mean? Just giving extra in-depth details. If you guys like that, I could do it for all the change logs. That'd be cool. I'd like doing it. I like change logs. I like my favorite part of every update, kind of. You know, I like... 
I like seeing everything I've done in a text format. Anyway, the video is 15 minutes. Goodbye. Thank you guys all for coming. Thank you guys all for taking the survey. Goodbye.